And then it took me a little more before I could, he could really start to unwind me from academia and say, no, intelligence is, what you're learning is artificial intelligence. <laughs> uh, this is not actually practical and helpful. Basically, we're going to have to unlearn the whole thing. So the more you go into it and the more complicated it gets, the more you're just moving in the wrong direction. You're going to have to let it all go anyway. So, but, you know, I, at one point I was just grateful like, to, to get clear of the direction, that no more plan Bs. And then a beautiful thing happened to me in my 20s when he said, you're not going to have a career. You're not going to have a career. It's just off. It's not in the cards. And I was like, well, I don't know how that's going to go, because how am I going to survive? And, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. I can't just not have a career and go in the backyard and, oh, get that money tree. What? $20 bills? No, it's $100 bills. Let's just... <laughs> take a few more hundred dollar bills, you know, I had the whole talk, Jesus, money doesn't grow in trees, and it's like, you're not from this place, and maybe in heaven there's no money, but I'll tell you about this place. He said, oh, I've been there, I've, I've been there, I've walked through all that. You believe, every time I would, I would say, I need a career, he'd say, you believe you need a career. And then he would work with me, because I still had debts, he would say, we're just be willing to loosen up your career ideas, but you, I'll still use some of the symbols of the world. So he did send me on jobs. I would, I would get these, not the jobs that I wanted, David wanted, consciously, I would think, that's what you're sending me? And it would always knock the chip of pride off, always uncover, like, like Adam Sandler went through. Those are the kind of jobs I had, dismantling jobs. No wonder he told me it was, wasn't heading for a career. He was going, the, the jobs were dismantling. Uh, the career wasn't looking in focus at all. It was like, yeah, I'm glad I'm not having a career because I'm not moving in that direction at all. I'm not getting promotions. And they were all dismantling jobs. You know, knock the pride, knock the chip of pride off your shoulder. You're no, no use until you free yourself of pride. You've got to be humble. You've got to have true humbleness to be of service in the plan of awakening. So we're going to have to knock those chips of pride off right away.